Okay, I've been doing a lot of AI videos lately and I want to get back to creating some music. So since there's a big investigation going on with Suno and the record companies and all the drama and tension around that, I figured it's a decent time to make an investigative tension track. I'm trying to do a batch of these for a client. So I figured I'd just share the creative process from scratch, not using any AI whatsoever. So what I did was I took an old project, tension project, cleaned it up, removed all the automation um, and, I'm sorry, animation and uh, all that EQ stuff for the most part. And I've got seven different patches here. And we're just gonna start from the beginning and I'll show you everything I'm doing here. Uh, so generally I'm starting out with a low drone at the beginning and we're using, I'm using a lot of stray light, uh, native instruments, stray light. So when I first saw this, for some reason, I thought it was like a big, a close up of an aircraft carrier type ship on the water sailing, but then I realized, no, dumbass, it's a bridge. <laughs> it's the underneath the bridge. So um, anyway, this, this, uh, tension investigative whatever it's going to end up being uh, is going to largely feature the great sounds within stray light so i give it a name up front frozen shadow I just figure sometimes having a name helps you to uh helps you to uh focus or get the picture in your head i'm thinking of frozen shadow so like a shadow stuck in time you know it could be is it a shadow of a dead person is it a shadow of a criminal uh, is it a moving shadow? I don't know. So that's a frozen shadow. So, sure. That's how my mind works sometimes. So, let's just start from the beginning. And we're going 60 BPM. And we'll just, I guess we'll shoot for A minor. There we go. We'll start with that. So I stopped on the fourth beat of the fourth measure there. So I have some space for easy editing. Now you don't see it there because I got to quantize it. So let's put it on the downbeat. Now you see it there. So we got our basic drone. I'm going to repeat that. Oh, I added a marker here too. I want to have a space between the first half and the second half. So I'm going to have that space here. And what I often do is I will actually, I might, I don't know what to do it this time, but I generally use things the first half, the second half. The first half is a minimal, small, second half builds uh, more layers and then has some sort of a crescendo ending. Um, so we've got my drone pad that's going to go through the whole way. Now, what's my next pad here? This is called Night Shift. It's another uh, stray light patch. So what does it sound like here? So I'm playing one note, I'm playing A. So let's get the keyboard out here. View. Okay, I'll put that here just so you can see. I'm not doing anything complex at all, but we'll put the keyboard there just for grins. I'm playing A, but you hear the A and the E above it. A nice open fifth, so we'll put that right there in measure five. And actually, what I can do, I just do this here. Take these here. Now I got my fifths. Wait, did that, that was that too low though? Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's too low, so put you up here on the right. There, so we don't need anything up there really. Okay, cool, so we'll do that. So these guys, we're gonna put up an octave for two. That'll be a little better. Okay, and then we're gonna build the second half of my first half. So let's take this here. Are they all there? They're the same. We'll go fifth up from that. So. Nice. 
highs and lows. And there's not a lot going on. There's, I mean, there's, there's, you know, this is a simple, you know, simple process. There's not tons of layers. So we're building there. Now I'm going to add some kind of melody in here. So let's grab my piano. And I love noir, as you know. So what have I got going on? Probably using spherical drift. Yeah, so spherical drift. That's the particle accelerator. The very, very cool particle accelerator. The particle engine within noir, uh, which is really awesome. So if I play a note. All those little pulses happen. If I just turn it way up here, just to show you how it works. I'm holding down an A minor chord. All those little notes are just generated by the engine. Bring that down to the middle. So we're gonna go with that. So, but I'm, I'm doing it for a melody. So let's start from the beginning. Now we're thinking scene, we're thinking, uh, you know, crime scene, dead body, burned building, empty room, something along those lines. So let's just start with something here. Um, we'll, we'll play it in real time and see what happens. that motive. One last time for the motive. Okay, so I'm at a very, very simple motif. It's slight variation at the end. So let's quantize that. Just, I don't need to, but I like to clean it up. If I do copy and pasting, I want things to be cleaned up. So there we go. Um, this is my base. I'm gonna make that blue so I know. And then everything else here will be purple. So what do we got without the click track? sweep for boom okay so I got it so that works that all works so I just take this here and control drag put it to the end there we're good maybe I'll add a little drone what's this Lannister here yeah so I'll add a low root note here for the last four bars
there that works so what does it sound like without the drone right here and let's try this here so it's a little more meat just for that last four bars there okay save it and so now that's really the first half i could add a little bit of pulsing perhaps what's this cyclavian here Looks like I got the EQ drop for you down this one. Yeah, we'll do some animation there. Okay, we're gonna come back in on this second section here. So let's just throw some of that in there. So, since we got a nice little A there, Put it up an octave. That's gonna work right there, I think. So let's add some animation here. We'll do our high cut frequency. Draw some stuff in here. Just kind of peeking for the measures. See what that sounds like. A little too much there. Okay, so I like that though, so we're gonna keep it. Now let's take our animation here. Copy that, put that right there, there, and there. And we got a different pad here. What's this sound like? Oh, that's nice. Keyboard back so you can see it's I'm not doing anything crazy advanced, obviously. This is all white keys right now. Um, I uh, just doing some stacked force there for a minute here. So let's see what we got here. Hmm. <laughs> so we come up there after this section here, we go through the break and then you'll do that we'll come with a nice open fifth and then we'll see what happens Slightly melodic counterpoint there.
I wanted to go one more measure. I needed to go longer there. So this. All these guys here. Yeah, I'll come with me. Let's go one more measure over. Okay, that works. It's still very, very drone. Very simple. Incredibly boring. But emotional. Um, I want to add some more movement. Sometimes when you take a patch for cement to be low, if you play it high, you might get something useful. There's my low drone Lannister. What's like up top? Really slow attack. What about my Cyclavian here? Wait, what's going on here? Uh, oh, that's my clicking thing there. What are my pads doing here? Got this interesting movement there. So what I might, what I might do is take this pad here. What's going on here? Maybe I'll take this guy and take a couple of these guys here. Maybe just put this up an octave. So I'm going to copy it, put my cursor at the beginning of the phrase, paste, right click, up an octave. So I'm adding more motion, higher in the frequency spectrum. I plan on bringing some strings in to fill this thing out, and then maybe we'll add some more melody stuff. So let's see what we got for the second half so far. And you can see I'm keeping this very, very simple. We're A minor, A minor, low note drone. Should get bigger here. The piano louder. take some of the uh, high end off of this pad here. So we make them down a bit. So I want the upper frequency, but I don't want it as bright. Maybe we just build it towards so it does get brighter at the end. Little subtle things like that. Okay, so we got a little bit there. Now let's bring some strings in here. This is uh, eight DO strings. Uh, right here we've got Open Sesame. Anthology strings. Again, I'm using all white keys. You don't need to be a compositional genius, obviously, to do this stuff. Well, let's bring some strings in here. So, and I've got my little uh, MIDI controller here. Is it, are you stuck? Don't get stuck. Yeah, my 3D printed uh, slider for modulation, expression, and volume. When you're playing strings, it goes up and down like that. Let me show you. Let's put my left hand over here. Play in triad. In fact, let me bring up the uh, library again so you can see. So with my left hand, right hand, right here, hand check, left hand goes down, and you see these dials <laughs> pointing. I just pointed the screen. The dial is dynamics expression right there moving. 
left far, far left slider, middle slider, and then the volume is not, I don't have the volume mapped in this particular instrument, but that works. So now why does that matter? So if I'm playing strings, That's matters instead of just playing, you know, full bottom. Adding that expression really matters a ton. So let's bring some strings in and see what we got here. I'm going to kind of build my way in from the last four of the first half. sloppy in there. I didn't have the click track going, so I was uh, in or and I didn't record it, but I enabled the capture feature, so this should work. Click on the little red button. Bam. I was not pressing record, but this feature is so life-saving at times. Let me show you where to find that. I totally forgot about that. So right-click on the custom control bar display, and right, uh, where is it? Right, there it is. Wait, come back. Come back here, you right here capture recording turn that sucker on and it'll when you're playing but not recording it'll remember and play it back for you so all that stuff is here what i just recorded and you can see the expression bars here i'm gonna go fix whatever that was i did earlier Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Maybe I do want that F, so we'll take the, take the E out and drag the F. Quick that there as well. Put that on the downbeat. Okay, try it again here.
So put this back on the top beat of that measure. And it's kind of loud there, so I gotta go and fix the uh, automation there. Save, haven't done that in a while. Let's clean up my color for a second here. Boom, okay. So we still don't really have a lot of movement. The piano's not doing much. Um, it was pretty chill in the beginning. So I need to add some more, I think. Let me add another piano. Too busy. Not, something's not right there. The phrasing isn't right. Yeah, I got two measures open and then we're there. So this comes in here. there what are the two pianos doing here okay so now I got some conflict get rid of that one there let's play these two pianos by themselves Simple, basic. Keep it simple, stupid. I'm good at all that. Alrighty, do that here. So, we don't have, it's still not uh, a, a musically exciting enough ending. We could use some damage, some drums of some kind, some pulsing. We could do a bass drum, a basic, you know, orchestral uh, 
bass drum of some kind. Maybe do a, a downbeat or something here. Boom. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go get a let's go get us a uh, a uh, orchestral drum. So we're gonna go contact stock library, the uh, factory library. <laughs> Where is it? Uh, is it under F for factory? Or is it somewhere else? E F. Where's my damn? Okay, is K for contact factory library? Percussion, bass drum. There we go. Look at that. That works. Okay, so you should, here's what I'm going to do. getting more and more of a pulse happening yeah. there but that's just that's just the uh, the bass drum let's go get some uh, damage so native instruments again that's kind of there that's, that's what I'm thinking of now I'm looking at the waveform to see how busy it is. Let's see what we got here. Let's just throw some stuff in here and see what's happening. I need a riser at the end. Well, we can go to rise and hit for that. Another great contact uh, library. Is it Shark Week yet? I don't know. So middle C plays the rise and the hit. That sounds perfect. Hungry Shark might be the one. Did it a measure too early, but we'll fix that. Some more time here. So from here. Now, folks, I think that's it. This is super simple. It's drama. Let's listen to the whole thing if you're still awake. If you haven't depressed you to sleep yet here. Uh, don't need that. Let's go back to the beginning. And let's see if I uh, uh, think of anything else I want to add to it here. 
from the beginning, two minutes worth of depression and sadness. Right, so I did a couple things. I came in and added some dynamic shaping to, in the EQ to the pad here to kind of make the brightness go away and come back. Did it again, very subtle. I uh, did the same thing for the pad. I added some reverb to the strings. Let's see what they sound like by themselves. Well, now the more I made it a very wet reverb. I should add a touch of that to the drums. We won't put nearly as much. that rise and hit. Yeah, all that mud down the left, we're gonna get rid of that. I don't need that. I got the, I got drone going on. I got other stuff. Do I want a subsonic boom on the end as well? 
I do like the subsonic boom. Let's go get a subsonic boom. Sub S. that one I think we're done. Kind of a mellow video today. It's tension, it's drone, it's calm, it's simple. Not a lot of things going on. We got what? We got 13 tracks. You know, two of those are ear candy at the end. So really it's 10 tracks. Um, what was 12? I guess so 12, I, I pulled something out earlier. So yeah, it's 12 tracks really, because there's no 12 here. Um, and that's it, keep it simple. It's all in the same key, no key changes, no tempo changes, slowly building, adding elements, you know, starting here, adding a couple more, got the melody in here, add some more at the end to kind of thicken it up, pause for drama. Now we repeat the same content here. All this here is the same here for the most part, except we added a second piano, but we also added a bunch of stuff below. The pads below, a couple different pads. I brought in uh, strings. Added the drums, uh, just a kick drum, and then repetitive percussion pattern. Oh, man. Late night, tired. I gotta get to bed. Um, yeah, and then we're done. So thanks for watching. Hope that was cool and inspirational. Got any questions, hit me up. Now, go make something great.